Their son died of a disease so rare, most doctors haven't even heard of it. Now Cheryl and Ed Rogers of Eureka want the public to know what happened to their healthy, active teenager in the hopes of saving someone else. This is some of his schoolwork. I just can't, uh, for some reason, I just can't let this go. <laughs> Justin Rogers' room looks just like it did back in mid-April when he first complained of not feeling well. And he said, Mom, I've got the worst sore throat of my life. A doctor prescribed antibiotics, although he never had a strep test. Justin also complained of what would later be recognized as a classic sign of what was really wrong. He said, this is so weird, I had this lump on the right side of my neck, but not on my left. This teen who loved snowboarding pushed himself to go to the prom. His mother continued to call the doctor. Five days later, April 16th, the Rogers' youngest child was still running a high fever. He was admitted to Cardinal Glennon's pediatric intensive care unit, put on a respirator. It was the last day he was conscious. It leaves you such an empty feeling to watch one of your children just laying in the hospital. It took days for doctors to discover what was making Justin so sick, an infection that can follow a sore throat called Lemire syndrome. Lemire syndrome is caused by a germ called Fusobacterium. It's normally found in the mouth, but can grow out of control, and no one knows why. It causes blood clots to form in the jugular vein, and those clots can spread to other organs. In Justin's case, his lungs. But antibiotics just couldn't catch up. Justin began to bleed internally. It was Mother's Day, May 11th. I told him to, you know, make this the best Mother's Day ever, and he tried. He really tried, but um, they pronounced him dead the next day. And then now the Rogers family wants doctors and the public to know about this unusual and sometimes deadly syndrome called Lemire's. There's a lot of doctors are not aware of this drug. They need to be aware or brought information about this disease. The Rogers family has started a foundation in Justin's name to raise awareness about Lemire's. You can read more about the syndrome, its symptoms, and find a link to the Rogers family blog when you visit this story at KSDK.com. Mike.